Today we're fishing on the Seto Island Sea between the islands of Shikoku and Honshu in Japan. With its million islands and incredible underwater life, this is the perfect place to go for a bit of fishing. So let's see what we're going to catch today. The day started off super early when I came to pick me up from my hotel and go down to the port. First time fishing. Really? First time? Okay. <laughs> As usual, we uh, must stop at a Lawson to get some breakfast. And of course, there's nothing more incredible than getting your snacks from a Japanese convenience store. So many delicious things. Namikata Port. Namikata Port. Okay, Namikata Port. We're at Namikata Port now. I can smell the ocean. Look at this. The million islands and to look, oh look, jellyfish. As you can hear from my voice, I was super excited and when her dad pitched up in his boat with his amazing fishing tackle, I knew we were in for a really good day. Off we go on our fishing trip. We have a chance of catching octopus, squid, but more importantly, snapper and uh, yellowtail amberjack. And of course, you know what they say, beginner's <laughs> luck. And of course, it was I who caught the first fish. Wow. Oh my God, shark! <laughs> Release, no? Release. Hi. Wow. We were fishing with Thai rubber lures and it wasn't long before we caught the first snapper. The traditional way is once you catch them is to release the air from their air bladder so that they survive longer in the live well to stay fresh. It's getting very hot now. Uh, I'm the only one who hasn't caught anything so far, of course. Let's see if I'm lucky today. Of course, it was I who caught the next fish, but uh, she didn't let me Read it in because she got a bit tired, but it was another shark. Oh, wow, wow, wow. look. Yes. <laughs> Today we were only concentrating on jigging and the tactic was to fish in an area and then move on. Whether you caught fish or not, just to not stay in one area for too long. But to be honest with you, even the fishing would take a backseat sometimes because with scenery like this, it's unbelievable. So many islands, they're all a little bit different, but they're all covered in greenery. Some are a little bit more beautiful than others, but also seeing this incredible triple suspension bridge. I think it's the biggest or the longest one ever built until a certain point in time. But as you can see, we were not the only ones fishing. It's just great to be on the water. Then we decided to go and check out the special port. Imabari is famous for shipbuilding, and this is where they build the ships. It was really interesting to see. Here we are in uh, the world's number one shipbuilding city and we are in the shipbuilding area. Seems uh, boats get a name before they are finished. Didn't expect that. But there is a hull being created. Very interesting. After our little tour, it was time to get back to what we came for, fishing. Ugu! Oh, wow! <laughs> As you may know, puffer fish is a speciality in Japan, but under no circumstances should you try and cook this yourself. And as the day went on, the fishing seemed to just get better and better. Hi. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, yes, I'm here with a very professional fisherman. The guy is just like hammered, like I don't know how many snapper. We have the exact same lure. Caught zero, he's caught like six. But uh, isn't that the way of the world? You need to learn the style. Uh, I, let, let me get back to learning. Finally, it's my turn to catch a fish. <laughs> I was super excited to finally catch one of these snappers. And so it continued. And not only that, but suddenly the fish sizes started getting bigger. Oh, okitai. Wow. A couple of minutes later, I also had a very decent fish on. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fish. 
And so it went on, fish after fish. Yeah, bream. Wow, new fish. New fish. Look at that. Got a black sea brim. This is turning into quite the fishing trip that I was not expecting. This is amazing. Fishing is going absolutely fantastic. I've caught, I don't know, 10, 12 fish, snappers, even a uh, yellowtail amberjack, sharks, two sharks, a puffer fish. This place is uh, very plentiful. I have to say, I'm quite surprised at how good the fishing is over here. I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting anything, but uh, now I know what to expect, and it's uh, a lot of fish. You should also expect to be unbelievably hot. I did not bring any sun cream, and I got the worst sunburn in a decade so be smarter than me. At some point we had to stop fishing because we were just catching too much and so we decided to go on a little tour of the area and here we have some very interesting accommodation. Apparently these are glamping spots and uh, it's only about $800 per night in one of these places. So yeah, you do have some high-end things around here too. All in all, I would absolutely recommend taking a boat out here if you get a chance to go on a tour of the islands or whether you just want to go fishing like we did. This place is beautiful. It's crazy to see so many different small islands and go between them and see these bridges. And yeah, I will definitely be back. What a successful half fishing day. That's absolutely insane. Not what I was expecting and everything I wanted. Hey. <laughs> That's the end of today's fishing trip. What a trip, absolutely insane. We are done, we are cooked. I have the worst sunburn that I never thought I was gonna get in Japan. Here we are at uh, Imabari Castle, going to eat uh, the fruits of, our, of yesterday's labor. How cool is that? There's really nothing better than having your own self-caught sashimi. What a way to end an incredible activity here in Japan, thanks to Ice Dad. And if you guys are interested in more content about Japan and travel, please follow and like the video if you liked it.